asynchronous learning is still collaborative, but may not happen in real time. Some of the learning tools that can be used and don't have to be used in real time are collaborative documents, group forums, and email. There are many ways for students to interact and engage with one another in asynchronous ways. One great way is by using collaborative documents in which students can make edits on their own time, but on a shared document with other students. It's a great way for students to share ideas, information, and work together towards a common goal. They can add content to their work or make comments and suggestions that can be seen by their group members. This is an example using Google Docs of collaboration. A downside to this type of collaboration is that students often react to group work negatively. This is because forced group work can sometimes hinder community building. Students feel group work causes an unequal division of work, forced connection to their peers, and little real learning support as group members try to just get the job done. Group collaboration should be authentic and based on building community. There shouldn't be shared grades or forced grouping, but instead a shared purpose and real support for one another's learning. Helping and supporting one another is the most important aspect of learning community. Group collaboration should be a sharing of knowledge, offering suggestions on tools, proofreading, and asking questions to increase critical thinking. A great way to encourage collaboration without requiring students to depend on one another for a grade is to assign assignment review tasks. Asking students to review one another's work can encourage students to collaborate and share with one another while also getting inspiration for their own work by seeing how others have interpreted assignments. They can gain knowledge through reading others' work. This type of collaboration can foster a sense of community as students teach one another and support one another in their growth. For more information on asynchronous learning and group projects, please refer to the articles listed here.